free, unaltered reprints. They're now being offered to Bartram Trail High School students after a yearbook editing fiasco. A live look at the school tonight. I don't think that without the national attention, we would have gotten as far as we did. Dozens of female students' photos were altered to make them appear more modest. The change outraged parents and students, and now the photos are being changed back to the way they were on photo day. Yes, so the St. John's County School District admitted the edits were a mistake. News for Jackson reporter Corley Peel is live at Bartram Trail High School tonight. Corley, you've been speaking with students and parents for their take on the new yearbook reprint. The way this works is students at this school will return the yearbooks that they have now and exchange it for an unaltered one. But some parents I spoke with feel that they should be able to get a new book altogether without having to return the one they already have. 80 altered yearbook photos of female students are now being reprinted with the original photos. This comes after the Bartram Trail High School yearbook scandal made national headlines. Kevin O'Keefe's daughter, Riley, was one of the students whose portrait was altered. She helped bring attention to the dress code concerns. I think that it's great. I think that it's called out to a lot of uh, youth to be part of the, the movement. I don't think that without the national attention, we would have gotten as far as we did. This email was sent to parents on Wednesday, informing them about the reprints. According to the district, the company that printed the yearbooks, Herf Jones, is offering to pay for reprints. Students are required to return their current edited yearbook in order to receive a new unedited version for free. O'Keefe says the beauty product company Dove also made an offer to reprint without students having to return their current yearbooks. Dove's uh, offered to pay for all of the yearbooks to be reprinted unedited and um, they've contacted the school and the board multiple times and been declined the offer to do that. The district says the Herf Jones offer made more sense since the company already has the school's files. I understand that they, they want to give the reprints. Um, I don't understand the handing the books back. Um, I think these kids now have the books and with all of the, the happenings and everything that they're fighting for, they probably want to keep the books. And um, they also have all the signatures from all their friends. So it doesn't really change anything for you? Uh, not at this point. The school says those interested in a new copy can bring up their old copy here at the front office of the school by June 11th. They will then notify students once their new copy is ready. Parents tell me that they will have discussions about the student dress code during their first community meeting with school board members tomorrow. Reporting live from Bartram Trail High School, Corley Peel Channel 4, the local station.